Szechuan beef, spicy and delicious. Szechuan beef in a burrito with other stuff, tremendous. You know, we love our Asian food around here, don't we lads? Yeah. So we're gonna make a little uh, spicy Szechuan beef, think you're gonna like it, and then a little bit of a detour to put it into a burrito, roll her up, eat. We're gonna be good. Max had a suggestion a while back. He called it, will it burrito? Question mark. Meaning, can you make that into a burrito? We made orange chicken into a burrito. No reason you can't make uh, Szechuan beef into a burrito. We did fettuccine Alfredo with chicken in a burrito. I think the will it burrito question shouldn't be a question, it should just be a statement because everything can be a burrito. Anything else you'd like to see us a burrito eyes? Just let us know in the comments. Rice will be a component today for our burrito and we're using a rice cooker. They make rice simply, easily, and perfectly. Let me show you what I do. Take the basket out and now we add the rice. I'm gonna add, oh, about a cup and a half or so, which will look like, I suppose I could measure it, but that to me looks like about a cup. Here's the reality. It doesn't really matter how much. The water system is always the same. I'm gonna teach you that right now. So first we wanna rinse this and get the extra starch off this. So run it under cold water like this. Get enough in there, mush it around a bit and stop. And then you just wanna do this. Not too hard, but you just wanna run your fingers through it and you can see the color of the water has gone milky. Okay, once uh, you can see it looks like uh, this, all white and milky. Pour that water off. Try and keep the rice in. Now, whether you're using a rice cooker, a pot on the stove, the water component at this point is the same. We're gonna put enough water in this so that when my finger goes in and touches the top of the rice, the water comes to that first knuckle. I'll show you. Let's get water in. We'll stop. Now, I like to just spin it a bit, flatten it out. Take my finger and put it in. A Little more water. And of course, we're using cold water. You would not use hot water for this. Finger goes in, nice. Check it a couple spots. Water's gotta come up to there. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the perfect amount of water. Now we're gonna add one more thing. And partly because of my obsession, partly because it will make it better, we're gonna add some diced green onion, like that. A little turn with my finger. We take the whole thing, put it back in the rice cooker, like this. We close the lid and we get it going. Our beef component today will be a flank steak. It's a nice little flank, this is about a pound. This extra fat here, well that piece obviously just pulls off. Let's see here, that pulls off. You know me, I'm okay with a little bit. That's kind of gross though, isn't it? When this does that. You can see how people would not like meat. That's kind of not the greatest thing ever. So there's a little bit of fat here that I think I'd like to get rid of. This is silver skin that's not really gonna help anybody. So we'll just try and get some of this off. Fat uh, often melts. Silver skin doesn't and just becomes a, a chewing marathon. Okay, let's see this side. I'm okay here, it's no big deal. This is all fine. So now we want to just do this. I'm gonna cut this down the middle and these guys into fairly thin pieces, just like this. So just cut away. And when you're done, you have a pile that looks like this. All right, simple step, all cut, that's beautiful. This is gonna get put into a bowl. We're gonna add two things. One will be about three tablespoons of cornstarch. Uno, dos, three. Okay, maybe a little more, it's not a big deal. And about a tablespoon of soy. And we mix and match, there's only one way to do this. With a spoon. With my hand. And you want this mixed well. Try and separate the pieces, try and get everybody with a little bit of this cornstarch on it. When you're all mixed up well, this can go off to the side and sit for, oh, you know, 15 minutes and we'll make a sauce. And for our sauce, we'll begin with your choice. Three tablespoons of soy paste, one, two, and three. Regular soy or dark soy. Two tablespoons of hoisin sauce, beautiful a tablespoon of sesame chili oil or chili oil or sesame oil. But the hotter one, not pimping this brand, sesame chili oil will be very delicious in this. Now a little sweet, we'll give it a couple tablespoons of brown sugar, light brown sugar is fine. But a tablespoon of cornstarch, like that. And then 
with cornstarch everywhere. Two tablespoons, one, two, of beef broth, chicken broth, water, whatever you got, and we mix. This little gem of a combo here will go into the beef when everything comes to a conclusion. It's before the burritoizing part, of course. All right, good. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's cut some vegetables. We need some red pepper, we need some yellow onion. This, clearly yellow onion. Up, oh, remember these? Onion rings. From? Whiskey burger. Whiskey burger, exactly. Oh, we could use these. Uh, you want about a half of a yellow onion. White onion, does, nobody cares. Onion is gonna be great in this no matter what. So, we'll just get it into some decent sized pieces here. Whack it up. That goes to that side. Let's get some uh, red pepper happening. And now these guys in, oh, pieces like this. A little extra red pepper never hurt anybody and will make this beautiful. Okay, we got the peppers, we got the onions. Uh, one fun component, let me show you, for some lip numbing heat. Chance, what are those? Red pepper flakes? Nope. Max? Peppercorns. What kind? Red peppercorns. What are we making? Szechuan peppercorns. Szechuan peppercorns. And they're really, uh, they're great because they have if you chewed on one, they're not super spicy, but they literally will start to numb your lips a little bit. It's great. But we don't want them in this form. We want them crushed up. And yes, you could use a Ziploc bag and like a pounder, but I'm gonna use my mortar and pestle. So I'll put about a tablespoon in here. So it looks like about that-ish. And then we give it a good grind. You thought I was gonna say give it a goo. Nope, we give it a grind. Perfect. We save these for the dish and we can almost get moving. All right, with our salmon cooking guy 12 inch cast iron pan on the heat, we're gonna add some avocado oil. Just scoosh it around a little bit, let it heat up a bit. And then when you start to see some smoke, we're gonna take our marinated beef, our beef that has the cornstarch and the soy on it and start to put it in. The goal is to get a bunch of this in and get a nice sear before you turn it. You probably have to do this in batches. That will be just fine. Do this a little ahead of time if you really wanted to. I generally lose patience and find it hard to just be so painstakingly slow about it and just end up throwing everything in at some point. So once we got some decent color on the sides, take a look, like this. See that? That's what you want. So you see, I can't, it's just, it's painful for me. Take all this time. So we're gonna give it a quick cook through. We'll do the other side, we'll take it out, we'll put more in and we'll get this part done. That's how I like to cook. That slow piece at a time is nonsense. And when you feel good about this, take it out, rinse and repeat. A little bit more oil. And then we'll just try and scatter as best we can because I'm losing patience really quickly. Oh, can't do it. You're going for some nice sear. Just let that be your goal here. A lot of piece at a time. Gorgeous, take this out. Beef's done, next in go the vegetables. Another pan smoking beautifully. Now go in our onion and red pepper. We want these to soften. Not too, too much, but a nice amount. Now that these have been in a couple minutes, like it's a hot pan and they're starting to be perfect. I'll try that. We call that crisp tender, and that's great. We now add two things. Traditionally, Szechuan beef would have actual chili peppers that if you don't want, you could pick out because they're on a plate. But in a burrito, you can't pick them out. So instead of little red chilies, I'm gonna use about a teaspoon of red pepper flakes, like that. That's gonna bring some beautiful heat. Don't forget, Szechuan means spicy and flavorful. Well, that's not literally what it means, but that's what we're doing with it. And now, do you remember our Szechuan peppercorns that we ground up? And then they go, and this we mix. The air is thick with spice. All right, let's make a little landing spot, a little bluch of oil, and then some ginger and garlic, about a tablespoon each, minced up. What do we do? We let it get fragrant. And right when it really starts to come up into your nose and you're like, oh my God, that's the best smell ever. We mix it. Stand by for real fun now. 
Now the beef goes back in. Oh my, boys, we have way more than we'll need for a burrito. Oh, we just have to eat some after, as is. And we can stop there, but we won't because we made that little sauce that we will now add. And it's got cornstarch in it. You can see it's thickening already. Okay, I don't know if I can make this into a burrito. Look how insanely gorgeous it is. That's maybe the most beautiful thing I've seen in a long time. But we have to, so I'm gonna take it off and we'll get happening with the burrito. Boys, you ready? Yeah. Let's go for it. Let's look at our rice first. Ready? Ready. Contact. Mmm. And now we mix. Oh, this smell is so nice. Unless you hate green onion and then this smell is disgusting. But no, me, I love it. I love it, I love it. Okay, let's get our tortilla and build this biatch. And the tortilla is on the flat top. We're not really cooking it. We're warming it. Fantastic. And here we go. Beautiful. All right, rice first. A big junk of rice, as we would say. Isn't that what we would say? We would. A big junk of rice. We Let me would get a little also bit. say a big splooch. A splooch. Let me get a little bit more. I mean, look, rice is an important component in any kind of Chinese dish. And when you put it in a burrito, no less important. Now our beef. So here it is, look how gorgeous. And by the way, we've been trying it. Chance? Unbelievable, so tender. Really tender, look, flank steak cooked like this is ridiculously tender. Can be, the sauce is fantastic. Look, the whole thing is really a gem, I'll be honest. And you know me and I like a little green. We've already got green onion in this and I didn't want to duplicate that too much, but I bought these the other day for salad at home. These are called uh, pea greens or pea shoots. They're really nice, they're really fresh. So I'm gonna just put a bunch right here like that. And now we can fold. Now we can try and fold. Now we hope we can fold. Like this, like this. Like this is not a small proposition, ladies and gentlemen. And we roll her through. Oh, I want this so bad. It's warm in my hands. I'm so excited. Be good, little guy. And now the only thing left to do is this. That is gonna be delicious. And, well, only one thing to do here. That should be obvious, right? Oh, I know how this is gonna be. So let's not waste any time and find out. Mm. This, the spice. There are some things that potentially would be, what's the word, weird, uh, burrito-ized. No, not in the least. So delicious, so flavorful. And Szechuan is often uh, marked by a huge amount of heat. This is just a really nice amount of mouth heat. I don't like things when they're too spicy. I won't do that to you. I hate it when you eat something and you just go <laughs> People at uh, sushi with like a wad of wasabi this big on one little piece of fish. And they're like, oh my God, it burns. It's so good. No, it's not good. You can't taste it. You're just burning your nose area. What's this called? Sinuses. Your sinuses. Stop that nonsense. It should be a compliment. It should complement the item. It shouldn't overtake the item. All right. Damn. Look, if you don't want to make it a burrito, don't. Just make the Szechuan beef. Rich, delicious, tender, huge flavor. And the Szechuan peppercorns are just there as a gorgeous note. Go away now. Go on. Go make something good. But not the same thing all the time.